I'm going to talk about Ebola today, fellas. Ebola. Ebola. Specifically, the ongoing 2018-2019 Kivu Ebola outbreak. And I opened up the Wikipedia page right now, and it's been requested that the title be changed to Kivu Ebola Epidemic. This is an epidemic. So this is now a matter of... This is, this is not an outbreak. This is an epidemic What's going on. Oh. No, 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 no. We're going to read. What? Look at that. Yeah, oh, no. I know. You didn't know that? Okay. So we're going to read the Wikipedia page for our fellows. All right. The 2018-19 Kivu Ebola outbreak, now called an epidemic, began on the 1st of August, 2018. When it was confirmed that four cases of four cases have tested positive for Ebola virus disease (EVD) in the eastern region of Kivu and the Democratic Republic of the Congo (DRC), this outbreak started just days after the end of the outbreak in in Ecuador, Equator, having infected Ecuador? a five Ecuador, Ecuador uh, having infected a five-year-old Kong. Call a Congolese boy who entered Uganda with his family for medical care. So it's now not even not only in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, but it's now in Uganda as well. The Kivu outbreak includes Ituri province after the first case was confirmed on August 13th, and as of June 2019, the virus has spread to Uganda, having infected a file oh, already put that. In November 2018, the outbreak became the biggest in the DRC's history, and by November, the outbreak had become the second largest outbreak in recorded history, behind only the 2013-2016 West, West Africa epidemic. And that was the big scare that, that involved Sierra Leone, um, West Africa. I mean, that was like the general scariness where Five cases happened in the U.S. and then one death in the U.S. and all that. Yeah, a ball. Now this is where stuff starts to get messy. This is why it's spreading so much. Yeah. The affected province and general area area are undergoing, or are currently undergoing, a military conflict, the <laughs> Kivu conflict. It's basically like a, it's like a rebellion of sorts, which is hindering treatment and prevention efforts. The World Health Organization, who Deputy Director General for Emergency Preparedness and Response has described the combination of military conflict and civilian distress as a potential perfect storm that could lead to a rapid worsening of the outbreak. In May 2019, that World Health Organization reported that since January they had been, there had been 42 attacks on health facilities and 85 health workers have been killed or wounded Yet no wonder it's spreading so much. We're killing the people trying to get rid of it. <laughs> Good job, Democratic Republic. So, yeah, Good but job. Right now. Well, I, we're, we're gonna get to the casualties is, soon. Oh my god. Um, in some areas, aid organizations had to stop their work due to violence. Health workers also have to deal with fake news and other misinformation spread by the opposing politicians. Casualties. Austin. Awesome. Read the country, then the cases, deaths. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, there has been about 1,470... No, you gotta read the cases first. Yes, the cases. Gee, you're stupid. I just 2,110. You. That's confirmed. Confirmed cases. Probable cases, 97. Suspicious... Uh, Supposed case, like suspicious cases, that is 349. Yeah, deaths 1,479 deaths in the Demo Democratic Republic of the Congo. What about Uganda? In Uganda, there has been three confirmed cases zero probable, probable, and two suspicious cases. Resulting in how many deaths? About three deaths. That's the death of all the patients of Ebola in this country. So, in Uganda, so what are the total cases and total deaths? There are cases about 2,000. Let's just go about... Let's go... About, right now, this of this 
When was the last time this was up updated? The present. June. Okay. Yes. So, 2,100, let's say. 2,100. 2,100. It's About. 2,500. 2,000, yeah. Why would you say 100 and not? Because it's 100. No, total. Total, yeah. No, you're saying total cases. This is the total. We're editing this, right? Yes. This is the total cases. Okay, the total cases. Oh, it's 2,557 cases. And the demo. And, and the total. Demo and no, total. A total. total deaths. It's not in the. Not a, a lot. You are. Can so, you do it? Yes. And the deaths, the total deaths, 1,482. This is going to take now, some good editing. Yes, it will. Due to the deterior. Oh, hold on. Let's take the. By. 13th of February 2019, the total cases confirmed probable and suspected equaled 1,000 individuals in the DRC. This is February. So you saw a massive spike of I seen in this chart right here. This is the chart you can see that can't it's see it. sloping. I, I know they can. I'll probably put a picture of the chart in somewhere around here. Look at that. Yeah. Take a look. August. Yeah. That's that's August first. You can see it just sloping up rapidly. This is the twelfth of August. Here, this is in, in one month. In one month, the cases went up. 8, yeah, from eight hundred. That's a spike of thirty yeah. percent in one month. April to May. That's when it really hit. Right in between the. Right? That, that's right now. It's yeah. it's heavily sloping yeah, it's, upwards. It's. This is in, this this is happening yeah. very quickly, and in May it kind of slowed down, but it, I would expect that I would, to go way up. I would I would not say that it went way down. Well, I, I I it's still a huge number of people being infected. Yeah, that shouldn't even be infected. So okay, due to the deteriorating situation in North Kivu and the surrounding area, the WHO raised the World Health Organization raised the risk assessment at the national and regional level from high to very high in September 2018. In October, the United Nations Security Council stressed that all armed hostility should come to a stop in the Democratic Republic of Congo to better fight the ongoing EVD outbreak of all of virus disease. Following the confirmation of cases in Uganda, a third review was conducted by World, the World Health Organization on June 14, 2019. It concluded that while the outbreak was a health emergency in the DRC and the region, it does not meet all three criteria for it to be a public health emergency of international concern. The thick. The thick. There's the thick. there's only been there's only been four of those since the creation of that term. There was swine flu. Yeah. There was um. There was swine flu. There was wild polio. And then the West Africa epidemic. And then there was one other I don't remember. Marco Polio. People have During ideas. The please, West African please, Ebola virus please share ideas. I need them. I need ideas. I'm gonna lose my mind if I don't find ideas. Okay. For my channel. This is as of yeah. As of June, June 20th. Yeah. yeah. As of today. Well. As of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, transition to the second EVD out. Yeah, it's the second biggest ever. Yeah. But it, it's still it's it's a uh, ten time it's about ten times less severe than the West, Africa, yeah, which was freaking terrifying. Anyways, thank you for sitting, bearing us talk about Ebola. You talk about Ebola. Farewell comments.